He took up a government post as a civilian administrator for the port city of Boni in the Niger Delta. And during the Nigerian Civil War, he was a strong supporter of the federal course against the Biafrans. He was a writer and producer. We do have some of your works of art. We have a lot of great stuff from Facebook, from Chike Anayo has quite a handful of paintings. The first one is done on acrylic on canvas, titled In the Mist of the Garden 2. So they must be part one. Then Friends is done with oil and canvas. Emotional Tangle is with acrylic on paper. Soul Food is an oil on canvas painting. for all those lovely works of art. Then we move on to Benga's work. It is titled African Queen, where he experiments with unusual materials. It's done on mixed media. which reminds me of the movie Face Off, Matthias Ames' Two-Faced Man. Born Kanule Sarawiwa on October the 10th, 1941 from River State, South South Nigeria. A writer, television producer, environmental activist and winner of the Right Livelihood Award and the Goldman Environmental Prize. He had his early education at the Government College Umahia and on completion obtained a scholarship to study English at the University of Ibadan. He briefly became a teaching assistant at the University of Lagos. However, he soon took up a government post as a civilian administrator for the port city of Bunny in the Niger Delta, and during the Civil War, he was a strong supporter of the federal course against the Biafrans. His best-known novel, Souza Boy, tells the story of a naive village boy recruited to the army during the Nigerian Civil War of 1967 to 1970, and talks about the political corruption and patronage in Nigeria's military regime of the time. Sarawiwa's war diaries on a darkling plane talks about his experience during the war. He was also a successful businessman and television producer. His satirical television series Bassi and Company was widely popular with an estimated audience of 30 million. At the peak of his non-violent campaign for the Ogoni people, his life was cut short by the military government. He, along with eight others, were executed on November the 10th, 1995. 
you can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. Thank you so much for making us a part of your day and keep sending those images and comments to all our platforms. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Keep adding color to the world. Thank <laughs> you.